Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. And Liz. And welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Sonata. We're going back to the fork here. We just nabbed Scorpius 24. We're going to be heading northeast this time. Uh, obviously, if you're on Encore mode, you don't need to get that chest. Assuming you've already gotten it the first time. There's only one more score piece to get here. Um, once you get it, theoretically, you don't have to complete the rest of the area, but you'll be so close to the end, you might as well. Let's just start editing out until we get to the next weapon. Okay, I defeated them. It's uh, Frederick hit level 70, which is pretty good. Good, we're at the warp. Not done yet. Alright, it's going to be a fork, and we're going to head southeast. Okay. And we've got, uh, am I going to be going back to this? No. I gotta take this guy out. Okay, there were two enemies here. I took them out. Is this the fork? I don't know. Okay, two more enemies. Took them out. One day we'll get to a fork. Oh, I think I finally made it. Okay, I took out the enemies at the fork. We're heading southeast. To get... A better weapon for Allegretto. Not his ultimate weapon, but a better weapon. He gets another weapon here. Seven branched? Why is it called seven branched? I don't know. That makes um, no sense. I, I don't know. It's some... Some reference some to something. religious reference or something. I don't know. But anyway, uh, it's... Actually still, believe it or not, weaker than the Hell Striker. <laughs> but, uh, with Burst Mode, it is significantly better. It's actually only slightly weaker than the Hell Striker without Burst Mode. But anyway, I'm going to make some changes to my setup and be right back. Okay, uh... So, as far as uh, my party is, Frederick, Beat, and Allegretto, Polka can sit on the bench for the rest of the game. But uh, anyway, uh, Frederick, I think is the same. Yeah, he's the same. Uh, Beat, I gave him dual power rings to give him over 500 attack power. Pretty damn good. Still got the Storm Shroud, so he'll get some uh, movement speed increase. And uh, Allegretto, got, he's got the Seven Branch Sword, Crimson Brooch to make it significantly better than the Hell Striker. Dragon armor, best armor we got. Speed shoes to uh, give him a speed boost as well. And he's got the mighty bloody plume, which is the dark version of Starlight Blast. You know, his attack power is right behind Beat. He's at 479. Yeah, it's, but his attack power is naturally that high. Beat, I gave two power rings to. So, going back to the fork. Heading southwest. We're almost done here. Should be a warp. I don't believe there's some enemies. Yes. Now let's get a full powered, uh. Don't get full powered, um. Whatchamacallit? Bloody Plume going. Pretty ridiculous. This is really gonna be overkill. Cry you got him. He's. He's dead. Sadly, Frederick is still stronger than that. A full-powered Phantom Pain, I'm pretty sure, would out-damage that. In fact, I know it would. But still, that's pretty good. Oh, maybe we can find out. Let's see what you can do, Frederick! I won't even do a move. Yeah, Frederick wins. <laughs> Frederick wins. Sorry, Allegretto. You're a close second, man, but... Frederick wins. See the feathers? Come on, Allegretto! You're supposed to see the feathers! Probably have no idea what I'm talking about. You will find out soon. As soon as you see the feathers. I, I think he said that before. No. Are I, you sure? I'm pretty sure. 
mean, he's done with moves, so... Yeah, but he hasn't had... He's only had that for the Deep Lurker boss. Oh. He only... It's the first time I've used him... Explicitly. Where is this? You're not making that. I can't see. You didn't do it. You're supposed to bloody plume him. Well, maybe he'll survive. Or not. Not anymore. I'm murdering him now. Come on! Keep going! Victory is ours. Come on! Why would he say it? I think he only says it when it's not a echo chain. A harmony chain. Alright, we gotta have warp here. Oh well, maybe next time. He'll be in there eventually. He says it all the damn time. I thought you said we were almost done. We are. There's one more chest to another fork. We're gonna head north west, uh, northeast this time at the fork. Just probably right here. Yes, so we're gonna just keep going. You foolish creatures. Yeah, there's a lot of foolish creatures. What can I tell you? Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. Oh no, yes I will. Oh, never mind. God damn it, Beat. See the feathers? <laughs> uh, it is funny. My god, that's a lot of damage without burst mode. This happens when you got 511 attack power. Pretty ridiculous. I love having dual power rings. Oh, really? There's a guy right there? That's unfortunate. There is no difference between uh, Allegretto's light and dark moves, by the way. They are identical, so... Starlight Blast is just as good as Bloody Plume. As far as I know, anyway. I think, uh... Like, the only differences with Allegretto's abilities is how, uh, how uh, likely they are to knock down. Like, I think, um... Shadow Assault has a higher chance of inflicting knockdown than Sun Slash does. But that's about it. Like, I think Void Edge or Sky Divider. One of those two has a higher knockdown effect than the other. Damage-wise, I think they're identical. Or at least very similar. 517 now. Jesus. Okay, keep going. Be another warp. Yep. Guess where we're going to now. If you said another fork, <laughs> you're correct. Uh, have fun going through this area without directions or a map of some sort. <laughs> You'll be stuck here for hours. Yes, yeah, you would and be. days and weeks. Southwest this time. But it still doesn't compare to the Great Crystal. Uh yeah, the Great Crystal is like this area, except... On steroids. Even every... Except... There aren't any rooms that even look remotely different. Like, you don't get the four-way fork versus the three-way fork. You just get a giant circular room. That's all you get. Yeah, it's like identical. With a ridiculous amount of enemies like there are in FF12. Oh well. The Great Crystal's really bad. <laughs> you 
And they didn't change it at all in the HD remake, which is dumb, but whatever. Well, they did make, I guess, the Excalibur easy to get. They made it guaranteed. That's you. As it should be if I'm going through that damn mess of an area. Stupid random chests. Gotta be the dumbest decision ever. Man, just can't kill these guys. Alright, make them see the feathers. Okay. Now he's not saying it. <laughs> he said it once. It must not be his, like, common phrase. No, it's very common. He says either that or did your stomach drop or something else. I don't know. He says things during the attack, too, sometimes. Very strange. On occasion, he does. It's you. Oh, Beat is going faster now? Okay. The controller's dying. I know it is but blinking. I don't think it's gonna matter. I will charge it after this. If it dies, oh well. I know, game. I, I, I got it. Thank you. I got it! You can stop now. Oh my god. Just plug just... the damn thing in. That means I have to get up. Oh, now it stopped. It's going ape shit on that freaking LED light. I've never seen it flash that fast. We're almost done. It shouldn't matter. I think it's going crazy. Weird. I don't. I don't think it's working properly. Because I don't think it's supposed to flash that fast. Seriously, it's like epileptic seizure fast. My God, if you had seizures, that thing would kill you. It's like, it's gotta be like it's going nuts. 10 flashes a second. It's ridiculous. Right Alright, whatever. If you die, oh well. I just can't look at it because it'll make my eyes go crazy. That's it's very distracting. I just want to keep looking at it. You're like a little kid. It's not supposed to give that message more than once. I don't know why it did that. Usually it lasts another couple minutes before it dies. See the feathers? See the feathers? Yeah, I did. And they saw that that snake died, I guess. I don't know. God, he's getting like a thousand HP a level. Yeah, I know. Stack growth is exponential. It's not linear. Should be one final chest. Should contain one of Clave's soul shards. Yep. Go back to the fork. And we're pretty much at the end. We're gonna head northwest. To Yes, we're backtracking now. We just made a quick uh, detour to pick up that soul shard. How do you never figure out that's down there? I have no well, idea. Well, you have to get it to complete the area. You have to get all the soul shards. Which would really suck if you didn't get one and you had to explore the entire dungeon again. Did you have to do that? No. Screw that. I never went through this area without a map. Are you crazy? My patience has its limits. And this is way beyond that. <laughs> Alright, so we went back to this fork. Go back to the same fork, and we're gonna head southeast this time. Where'd that guy come from? Well, he's... There's two of them. That's weird, they like res- Oh, because we changed floors! That respawns them, that's right. Ha. Huh. Because we technically changed floors. But I don't think it's gonna matter too much. 
gonna suck if the controller dies mid battle. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Well, it would just switch to you, right? No, not until after the battle. So he'll just sit there and do nothing. Yeah, he would sit there and do nothing. But I'm pretty sure this is about the end there. See the feathers? Yeah! I heard him say it with me. Stop it! Damn melon. I don't really like melon. Okay. I don't know, I like it. Since when? I don't hate melons. Go get them. When was the last time you ate a melon? Not for a long time. They're expensive. We're as tough as they come. The only melon I particularly like is cantaloupe. Other than that, everything else can just die. You should have a, a durian. Hole. No thanks. I'm good. I'm not eating a rotten flesh-smelling fruit. <laughs> it costs like twenty-five dollars. I'll get on that when I go to New York City in the winter. You gotta go to like an Asian shop to get it. They exist around here. There's a couple Asian markets. Actually, they're not far from here. Yeah, I know. Some people like them, I don't know why. They, they're disgusting. The smell pass. alone is terrible. It's all Link eats in Breath of the Wild! Well, kind of. Unless there's a better recipe than that, I don't know. Not for hearts, it's an insane recipe. Alright, I think we're gonna continue to- I think it was southeast, right? Yeah, continue to the end. Really? I just walked right past you? Come on, man. This thing is, like, super annoying. Yeah, it's not working properly. Where did you buy this controller? <laughs> eBay? Yeah, I got an eBay. The other one wasn't- this, the pad is broken on it. Unless I, I mean, that's the, the one that has the six axis in it instead of the vibration. So I'm wondering if maybe, maybe that's, that's how they used to be. To, maybe that's how it's supposed to be, yeah. I don't remember having what my original controller did. Because that's like one of the, that's like an early model controller. I can tell because of how light it is compared to the other ones. It doesn't have the vibration things. That's when like Xbox sued him or something? I think it was Xbox. I have Microsoft. no idea sued him for copying the vibration feature or something. I don't and they remember. used the same technology because Sony was really stupid. They literally just used the identical technology instead of like altering it slightly. I mean all you really gotta do is alter it a little bit. Yeah I don't remember that. It's like like Nintendo did the D-pad, they they patented it. But everybody use, has a D-pad now on all their controllers, but they're all slightly different because Nintendo owns the original design. Like on the Super Nintendo controller and the NES controller. That's why none of them look like that. That's why, like, Microsoft has that stupid shield one. Uh, Sony has, like, the ones that's, like, actual buttons. Because that's, that's underneath it. Which is actually pretty good. I like that D-pad. Microsoft's D-pad is terrible. You always get copycats. This is the end, finally. Woohoo! Do a little dance. Da -na 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 -na. Are you sure? Yeah, it's B10. Okay. Turn to the entrance. Making sure. That's the end, trust me. Oh, uh, yes, who could remember this beautiful entrance way? Yep. Okay, so next time we'll. Continue into the next section where we will get virtually everyone else's ultimate weapons. I'm not kidding. They they really go overboard. To be fair, there's still a few that we won't get, but yeah, we're gonna be switching party members like crazy in the next section. So yeah, this is Ryzen. And Liz. Thanks for watching. Take care.